Hey, welcome back. We are back out at the at my workshop. Um, let me show you. I've made a lot of progress over the last couple of weeks. I think the last time I showed you around at all in here was uh, when I was doing my clamp rack. Turned out pretty darn nice, I think. Still don't have the other side done yet, but I've got all the clamps staged there. I just got to build the assemblies for that. But here's where most of the progress has been. This is the back of the workshop. Um, all French cleats along that wall, mostly hand tools there, um, but uh, made a lot of progress in organizing. But now I've run into a glitch. So last fall uh, I purchased uh, from an estate sale a lot of wood turning chisels for a lathe and they are, these are the chisels that I purchased, all of these. When I purchased them, I never really thought of how am I going to store them. Well, that's the dilemma. That's the quinky dink that I found myself in now. Is what am I going to? How am I going to store these? How am I going to organize them so that I can actually find what I want um, quickly and then put it back into its place quickly um, without digging through a whole bunch of um, chisels. Here's what I've done. So here's what I've done so far. So these are the two inch, these are the chisels that fit into a two inch piece of PVC. This is an inch and a half PVC. This is inch and a quarter PVC. And then we got these three little ones which are gonna be three quarter inch PVC. All right, so here's what I'm doing. So we're gonna use this one as an example and all the rest of these are exactly the same. It's got a bunch of PVC dust in there from where I cut these. So um, all of these are cut. And what I did is I basically took a measurement from the butt of the chisel all the way up to this broad piece on the neck, okay, whatever that distance was. And I took all of the chisels for that particular size and then I averaged them. So these ones I believe come up to about, I'm going to say nine and a half inches. Yeah, so these ones were cut at 10 inches. Um, and then I came up a half an inch on it and I put this screw in here and it goes all the way through. Now this is ultimately going to get cut off probably, you know, a quarter inch off of the tube. And then I'll just take a couple dabs of uh, CA glue and put it on both sides of the screw. Um, that way it kind of locks that screw into the PVC. I doubt it'll come out, but you know, I like to overdo things. So what that does is it creates a tube now that I just dropped my chisel into just like that. So. I think this will work really well. Um, and then I will take these and I'll take the tubes and we're going to glue them together uh, to make a larger bank of these uh, PVC tubes. I think this will work out well. I just want to kind of give you an update on what I'm doing. So I'm not videotaping all this stuff. You guys can figure it out. Once we get the uh, once we get all of the tubes done, I start assembling it, then I'll kind of probably videotape that to show you how I'm putting them together. They're just going to be glued with regular PVC cement so that they stick to each other, and then the larger ones will be in the back, the uh, inch and a half will be in front of those, the inch and a quarter in front of those, and finally on the front will be uh, the three quarter inch tubes. And for each one of the tubes, I'm going to color code them, and then each chisel will also have some color coded tape on there. So. I don't have to figure out whether the neck of that particular chisel will fit in a particular tube. Um, I'm not going to label chisels, but they are going to be color coded. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Not so much on that one, but let's take let's take this one for example. Now this is an inch and a quarter tube. Okay, now it fits this chisel just fine. But if I were to just grab a chisel at first glance, that kind of looks like it's got the same size neck on it. But this one won't fit in that tube. Not even the butt of it will fit in the tube. But this one, it will fit in. So that's that's kind of what I'm doing when I'm color coding these. So um, I'm not sure what colors, but I'm going to wrap uh, probably a couple of couple of bands of, of uh, electrical tape around the neck of each one. So this one might be a blue one. It goes in a blue tube. Another chisel might be a red one. It'll go in a red tube. That kind of thing. So. If it don't make sense, it will when I start doing it. So that's that's a few steps down the road. So I'm going to build some more of these tubes and wrap up these uh, these inch and a half tubes, hopefully today, before the live, because it's Wednesday, about 
4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, hopefully I can get this done before we go live tonight. So thanks for sticking by. So thanks for staying tuned.